What is up people? Today is Thursday, which means another hacks video day. And I'm just gonna start off by saying I have not done any rehearsal whatsoever with this video. So there might be a lot of mistakes, but it isn't difficult to follow. Okay, another thing to say, you don't have to have watched the video before this on reflection, but if you have, it will be quite useful because it will explain what all this code here is doing. And I'm gonna use a tiny bit of this, but not a lot of it. So let's get started. Um, first of all, what is Lix? And it's oh, a good question. So primarily what I use it for is to encapsulate my, my hacks project. Um, so I can be using whatever version of hacks I have on my machine globally my project itself will have its own specific version of hacks and it will run fine. And in fact, if you have licks running on your project, you do not need to have hacks installed globally. So you can, I don't know, have a, have a machine in the cloud and you can run your, your um, hacks program, sorry, hacks repository or, or code file, whatever, on there um, just by installing licks and node. And yeah, you do need node to have licks working. Uh, Node isn't isn't difficult to install. I'll put the link in the description to know how to install it. But yeah, to check you've got it installed, just do node dash b, and I've got twelve point fourteen point zero, which isn't the latest version, but it doesn't really matter. So to use Lix, um, you have to make this project or the project you're working on a Node project, and that's really simple to do. Just need to run npm in it. What I'm going to do is dash small y to say yes to all the things it asks me for. So I'm going to hit enter on that. It will take some time because it's doing a lot of stuff. I don't actually know what it's doing, but it doesn't matter. Come on. Boom. There we go. So we have our package JSON. And what we're going to do, I don't actually know the commands to install X. Hmm. Anyway, we're going to do npm install. I think it's just Lix. I think it's just Lix. Let's try it. Okay, if this isn't the right command, I'll be so annoyed. Come on, why is it taking so long? Any minute now. There we go. So we have Lex 15.9.0. Um, and it's giving me an error. Okay, ignore that. I don't know why it's giving me an error. I hope that's the right thing I thought. Okay, so now we have to run a command. Oh, I know why this has got an issue because you can't do capital letters and this sort of stuff has to be like that. There you go. Right. That's an extra tip. If you have that issue, you know how to fix it now. So there's a command, but I've got no idea how to run. Um, oh, here we go. No, this isn't what I want. Um, so I'm writing a lot of stuff now. I ignore me. So, so basically, Lix has been installed on my, um, on my project. And to use Lix, I, I use something called npx, which is running an ex executable. And usually if you install Lix, if you look at the Lix repository on GitHub, it would say install it globally. Now, I do not want to install Lix globally because I only want it for this project. I could have other projects that do not rely on Lix. So to, to run Lix in my project, because it's an executable, an executable package, you have to run, or I have to run npx. So I'm going to run npx lix, and I think the command is lix scoped. I could be completely wrong. No. Okay, lix help. npx lix help. This is what happens when you do not rehearse what you're doing. Okay. Lix scope. npx lix scope. So what that is going to do... Um, this is not what I want. Oh my word, am I going to do this live on camera? Okay, let's do this. Let, let's go to the Lix GitHub page. It's fairly embarrassing, but anyway. Lix client 
Imagine if I've actually installed the incorrect package. That'd be so annoying. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. So I've done the right thing. That's awesome. Lix scope create. That is what I want. MPX Lix scope create. And what that is going to do is it's going to build the. It's going to. Oh, look at that. So it's already put this version of facts. So when so when I install my project here or anywhere in the world, it will install this version of facts and it will scope the libraries I use to this project. So first of all, let, let's see what version of facts we're using. So if I have um, hacks dash dash version, this is the this is hacks globally. Okay, so I've got 4.0.1. And to check what version I have of hacks running in Lix, um, Actually, let me just check because Lix installs its own version of Hacks in my project. Okay, there we go. So I went through that quite quickly, but basically, using npx, I have run the Lix version of Hacks on my project. So this is specific to my project, and this is not global. So in my previous video, um, I ran std is to get it to work. But if you look at the documentation for the standard um, class, you'll see is is depreciated, and instead I need to use is of type. Um, I've gone through this video the wrong way around because I should have shown it to you not working first, but I think I can still do that. So if I run is of type, and then I do hex uh, build hxml, it will say is of type does not exist because is of type does not exist in hacks 4.0.1 but if I do, fingers crossed, npx, npx hacks build dot hxml so I'm using the project version of hacks which was installed by Lix which should be 4.1.1 it will say boom so that will build fine because is of type is recognized um, so, and you can do this for anything. I haven't gone in depth, which I, I might do, I don't know. But anyway, you can install uh, plugins through this um, and you can scope the plugins versions that you use. And the beauty of using Lix is if I went here and said, actually, you know what, I, I kind of want to go back to a version of Hacks. I, I don't want to use the latest one. I want to go back to 4.0.1. Simple. Change it here. Run npx Lix download. It will now download that version of Hacks. I don't know why my internet is being so slow today. Come on, internet. Done. And now if I do npx Hacks, build HTML, whatever, it will say whenever it's ready. There's a problem. It's not showing me now here. It should show me. Here we go. Um, well, it shows me that it doesn't exist. So yeah, that's a quick overview of Lix. I think in the future I will show you how to use Lix with installing some libraries and packages and whatnot, but this is super basic. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, as usual, subscribe to my channel for more videos about hacks and other stuff. And if you liked this video, please press the thumbs up button below. Thanks for watching. Bye.